This is TOS TV headline news. As cost of living in Tunisia rises, the main labor union in the country has said it will hold a national strike calling for wage increases. CBN Governor Godwin Amefiele has withdrawn the suit he filed against INEC and the Attorney General of the Federation over his presidential ambition. Nigeria lost a whopping 2.1 trillion naira as a result of crude oil production deferment in one year. The revelation comes on the heels of perpetual low crude oil production being recorded by the country in the past two years. Boris Bondarev, Moscow's councillor to the UN in Geneva, has resigned his position over what he called the absolutely needless and criminal conflict in Ukraine. Bondarev is now Russia's most senior diplomat to defect over the war. President Mohamed Buhari has lauded the Nigerian Air Force for living up to his responsibilities of securing the nation, saying the government's investment in the Air Force is well justified. Police in Anambra State have frowned over the reluctance of indigents in various communities in the state to volunteer information about the activities of criminals in their areas, noting that the terrorists are well known and so do not warrant the unknown gunman tag. After nearly 15 years of doing business in Rojia, with about 130 stores, Starbucks is set to exit the Russian market. The coffee chain will, however, continue to pay its nearly 2,000 employees over the next six months. The National Association of Nigerian Students has threatened to shut down major airports in Nigeria if the face-off between the ASU and the federal government continues. Popular comedian and activist Mr. Macaroni has said that he would never support the ruling APC and its opposition, PDP noting that things cannot change in the country if Nigerians keep recycling leaders from both parties. Authorities in Ethiopia's northern Amhara region have arrested more than 4,500 persons, including former army commander Tafera Mamo. Those arrested were suspected of spreading lawlessness. And that's TOS TV headline news. For more, follow the details displayed on your screen.